So let's get started with our next demonstration video. And this is going to be utilities. So as your utilities come in, um, what I have done ahead of time is I have defined the setup for our utilities to be um, a cost invoice. So it's not, the system isn't going to try to look for a matching purchase order. It is going to bring it in from a header level perspective. So let's go ahead and look at how that works. So here I'm going to go ahead and send the electric bill basically. Um, so you can see it's to you um, ending in three. Um, here's a copy of the invoice. We don't have to look at it, but we can see it says monthly electric bill. Um, and it's just going to go ahead and start in, in the, auto, uh, the process automations, or I'm sorry, the invoice capture process. Um, so here in our vendor invoice automation, we are going to, we see there's no pending vendor invoice, but we will here in a moment see a pending vendor invoice. Um, don't see that the file has come in yet. All right, so it should be coming in here in a moment. What happens is a um, Power Automate flow starts to, to run as it gets triggered that an email has come over from the vendor. And if I, pause this. It's only because I'm trying to save time, but it's only a few seconds in between when I pause and unpause. So you can see now that this is an awaiting status. So let's talk a second about statuses. I have them all documented over here. Um, let's see, where did I document those statuses? Did I not save those statuses? Well, it might be on another document, I think. But basically, it goes from waiting and then it goes to captured. So if we refresh this, oh, processing, then to captured. Here are all the statuses. Now, if we go over here, we refresh. The system is going to start processing. Now, what is great is this has already been defined as a cost invoice. So if I open this up here in captured invoices, um, so I get a notification that it's processing at this moment. So let's refresh that. Okay. Notice it's a cost invoice here because of that vendor configuration that I set up in the invoice capture power app. That's why that's automatic. Now there's no errors here, which means it's automatically going to go over into pending vendor invoice. So that was great. Um, no manual intervention needed. If I come over here to pending vendor invoice, there is my electric. Now, the system will not perform a match status. Um, it won't be able to automate the, pro the receipt match, but it will submit to workflow. So let's watch that happen. I'm going to push all of our automations to go ahead and run in the next minute. This is a good example. So as I was trying to push these automations through, I had pushed it through um, when it was already processing. So it threw up a failed and you can see that the match status here was not applicable, applicable, <laughs> sorry. Um, but we do have a workflow status failed. So we can come here to history um, due to failed step. So what we could do is since that failed is just try to resubmit it. And all we simply do is come in to the actual vendor invoice. Now, if I come here, I can just submit it. Actually, I could probably still do that from the header as well. Um, okay, so we have a missing ledger or accounting distribution. So let's look at that. 
Is that what's keeping us from submitting? I don't think so, but we'll go ahead and reset it just in case. So for someone in AP, it's these are the situations that they're still going to be manual intervention on. Um, this has gone through and submitted into workflow now. Now, again, you won't have match status. You won't need to worry about this past status here. Um, in a moment, we should see. Now, we this will always stay as failed because you had to manually um, come in here. And then we can go into workflow history and see how the workflow is going. So we can absolutely go check on it, although it just started. So, um, yep, yeah, it looks like it auto approved because it, maybe it's a utility vendor. We can set up your workflow any way you'd like it. But at the end of this is where the system automatically posts the invoice. So that was all the manual intervention in this scenario, as long as the um, automated submit to workflow button works. I hope you enjoyed it. I think these are great when we have scenario scenarios come up that we have to address so we know what to expect in this automation.